All right, we're doing another unscripted, impromptu video review of this new gaming laptop I got. It is an Asus Tough 505, I think, DT uh, gaming computer, gaming laptop. And it comes with a Ryzen 5 uh, R5 3550H processor. The base clock is 2.1 gigahertz, and it comes with uh, four cores. It's a quad-core processor has one turbo core that goes up to 3.7 gigahertz and uh, it also comes with 8 gigs of RAM clocked at uh, 2666 megahertz it comes with 256 uh, gigabytes of uh, SD, SSD uh, that new NVEM or NVME uh, let me show you the settings the settings are I didn't, I didn't tweak them at all. These are the default recommended setting, settings by NVIDIA. V-Sync was off. Uh, texture quality highest. Shadow quality medium. Most of it's medium or low. Uh, with motion blur on and with wind pulse on. Um, and we're in full screen <clears throat> mode at 1080p. So, you know. Okay, so let's get back to it. Uh, I came here to get my... I don't know, something for the new season. And I, then I forgot. So we're going to hop into something pretty soon here but in uh in the quest or not the quest hub oh. the dawning begins i would say in the social hub thank you social hub <clears throat> frames are definitely reasonable 48 right now 54 41 but very very reasonable a lot of people here usually um, let's hop over and see how a strike plays all right, here we go. This is the new one. Okay, so we're, we're at 62 frames right now. I must Everything's once running pretty again good. Ask you to venture into the dark. Move quickly, but carefully, Guardian. Oh. Gotta love the warlock jump. So yeah, this one's really smooth up on this laptop. And the graphics aren't that bad. I mean, they're not as good as my desktop was, or ever will be. But definitely playable. Definitely looks good. And I'm recording too, so that, that counts for a little bit. I don't know how many frames it actually takes out, but... They like increase the damage or something. Something thousands of damage right now. Sixty frames. I haven't seen it actually drop under sixty frames since I've gotten in here. You know, it's you know all, it can go as low as sixty. I've seen it up to ninety. Granted, there's not a whole lot of craziness going on. Might be a little different in the raid. I have not raided in Destiny. I would love to do something. Oh, that's right. You gotta like go each side. I've only done this once when it came out. But yeah, still like 60 frames and up so far. Okay, didn't actually get a glimpse at the frames there, but still seen above 60. Definitely able to do that. It looked way better than the console. I have this thing on the Xbox. 10 gig. Shout out And. Yep. Yeah, looks like crap. Mm 
I think it's just forgot what to do with this. I think I gotta go all the way over here. What? Okay, I got the Emperor hands. Well, actually, no, it's the Dog Emperor hands. Okay, first time I've seen it under 60. 56 right now. Still very playable. Yeah, yeah, having a, a back so did notice that it can be now it's back up to 60, 61. Now that I can resume, he's almost able to revive himself. I'm actually very impressed with this laptop. I don't play the way you see it. I know other people do, but what I do, this thing is perfect. And, it allows me to make videos with a I never had a weapon before. I got to get on a laptop. It's a crappy laptop, I don't count it. Back up to 75. So, I, I mean, lowest I've saw was 53. It's very playable. Maybe I should test some TP. That costs you a lot. Depends on what we're, where we're at. Yeah. 
I'll be providing a link in the description below to the exact laptop I got on Amazon. Right now, I, I'm going to actually go and leave an Amazon review now that I've had a couple days with this. And I'm going to give it five stars. It is a very good laptop for the money. 650 bucks is what I paid for this. And it worth it. Like, I'm very surprised at how well this is running things. The only complaint I really have is the storage. But I'll, I'm gonna, I'm actually making a video that'll cover that in detail. Now granted, I believe you can do external hard drive and set it up to install games on. But, uh, the main external hard drive I have is backed up. So, I'd have to buy a new one. All this stuff again. Oh, oh yeah. Tower of Death. So 76, 78 right now, frames per second. And I have a horny helmet. Playing this on the Xbox One and playing this on PC. I think. Like this isn't even maxed out. And Season I was doing maybe 100 to uh, 250 damage crits. I'm doing like 7k. Even when I was in the uh, I forgot what it's called Nightfall. When I was in the Nightfall one, still doing like 2k. Not crits. My crits are not even like this. Like you do, 68 frames. Oh, 
forgot how much fun that is. Texted me. My one. Oh! Go, go. Over. Don't do that. Okay, I'm just walking. Ashladun is dead. Ashladun. This is a relief to hear. But Ashladun's presence is no coincidence. The Hive must have grander yeah. ambitions for the Pyramid's influences. Alright, well there you have it. That is a complete discuss. strike on this new laptop. Did not go under 50 frames. Lowest I saw was 53. Average probably closer to 65. So definitely playable. Mid to high, well, I would say mid settings. We won't say high settings. Mid settings runs a great. So there you have it.